You know, if you're ever in a jam, you're going to need the help of the guys of the 1590 Search and Rescue to haul you out. Thanks, fellas. But this group's in a bit of a jam themselves. They really could use younger volunteers to join the ranks of their aging membership. We want more young people. We want to pass on our knowledge while we're still in good shape. You know, we'd like to pass that on to the young people so that the next generation doesn't have to learn on the job like we did. Butte's all-volunteer rescue team has just over 35 members, with more than half the members 50 years old or older. At 73 years old, Fred Parker dedicates his time to the organization. I still work every day and uh, try to stay in shape and I'll stay in search and rescue until I'm too old to walk. <laughs> <laughs> but the group needs younger people who can handle a task that takes its volunteers into rough terrain and some of the most inclement weather. It can be enormously physical. There's been some times where you just come back absolutely exhausted. The group's goal is to find at least 10 new volunteers that will be up for this task. A motivation to help the community and uh, a sincere drive to be able to respond at 2 o'clock in the morning when it's 10 below zero and go out and, and find somebody who desperately needs your help. Like many volunteer groups in Butte, the search and rescue team has noticed there are fewer young people willing to make time to volunteer in their already very busy schedules. And though search and rescue is not easy, the rewards for this kind of work are great. There was a search a couple of years ago where uh, we thought we were going to lose that woman. And at the last minute, uh, we figured out where she had to be. We got in there just in time. And you take her back and give her to her husband. And, and you just you walk around on air for a couple of days because of what you were able to do. You were able to save a life. Interested volunteers can just show up at their regular meetings the first and third Tuesday of the month at 7 o'clock at 1590 South Airport Road in Butte. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.